whatever the year is. Moran Elk <laughs> I'm here with Murad Al Khatib um, of AGT Food, who had just won the EY World Entrepreneur of the Year Award. Murad, you have a 1.4 billion revenue company with thousands of employees. You're a great success as a food producer. So, what does winning an award like this mean? You know, it's been a great journey from a startup from the basement of my house where I you know, went to my wife who was six months pregnant with our twins 13 years ago and had a vision to build a global protein company focused on lentils, peas, chickpeas and beans. You know, the world's going to have 10 billion people and sustainable vegetable protein is going to be part of society's solution. And so that vision came together. You know, we have 47 manufacturing facilities in five continents now and being recognized as the World Entrepreneur of the Year, wow, what a great opportunity to bring this message of, you know, feeding the world changing lives one, to, one life at a time and you know making protein and, and healthy foods available to the world, that's going to be one of society's biggest challenges as we go forward. So what message do you have other people who might think about being entrepreneurs like you? You know, I, I always say to an entrepreneur, never have fear, but do your homework first. Make sure you know your risks, research your risks, because I'm never afraid because I know what's going to come. As long as you're prepared, take the plunge you know, uh, go ahead and, uh, and uh, you know, develop your vision, but have a cause, communicate it to your employees, and, you know, just go out there and, and you know, do your best to succeed. And, and, you know, anyone can achieve their dreams if they work really, really hard. And you have obviously been very motivational to your staff, to your, your business. What is it that motivates you? You know, what motivates me now is, uh, you know, just uh, the, uh, the quest to bring food to the world. I want to change one life at a time. And, and one of the things we've been very involved in is feeding Syrian refugees. We fed last year 700 million refugee meals to Syrian refugees through the United Nations and International Red Cross Red Crescent. That's what gets me up every day. We're a successful profit-making business and we're helping to solve society's problems. I want to keep doing that every day. So people might think of you as a social entrepreneur. Is, is, that, a, is that an idea you Well, you know, I would say that there's, there's no such thing as social entrepreneurs anymore. There's just entrepreneurialism. And, you know, a cause and society is actually part of what every one of us has to do now. Consumers are demanding it of all of us. And the millennial consumer and the consumer behind, you know, they're demanding environmental sustainability, social responsibility. This is not social entrepreneurialism anymore. It's actually entrepreneurship. It's business. And it's for businesses' success to recognize it and to seize the trend and turn it into success for their business. And that's what we've done very effectively. Murad, thank you. Thank you.